सी आई टी एन सी आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स फॉर क्लास एट लेट्स लिसन टू चैप्टर सिक्स स्क्वेयर्स एंड स्क्वेयर रूट्स पेज नंबर हंड्रेड सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव पॉइंट थ्री फाइंडिंग स्क्वेयर रूट थ्रू प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन कंसिडर द प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन of the following numbers and their squares here we have a table left column has prime factorization of a number right column has prime factorization of its square 6 is equal to 2 into 3 36 is equal to 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 8 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 64 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 Into two into two into two. Twelve is equal to two into two into three. One forty-four is equal to two into two into two into two into three into three. Fifteen is equal to three into five. Two twenty-five is equal to three into three into five into five. How many times does two occur in the prime factorization of six? Once. How many times does two occur in the prime factorization of thirty-six? Twice. Similarly, observe the occurrence of three in six, and thirty-six of two in eight and sixty-four, etc. You will find that each prime factor in the prime factorization of the square of a number occurs twice the number of times it occurs. in the prime factorization of the number itself let us use this to find the square root of a given number say 324 we know that the prime factorization of 324 is 324 is equal to 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 you can observe this in the table made here on the left side we have the prime factor On the right side, we have the number two, three twenty four, two one sixty two, three eighty one, three twenty seven, three nine, blank three. Page number hundred and one. By pairing the prime factors, we get three twenty four is equal to two into two into three into three into three into three is equal to. Two square into three square into three square is equal to bracket open two into three into three bracket close square. So square root of three twenty four is equal to two into three into three is equal to eighteen. Similarly, can you find the square root of two fifty six? Prime factorization of two fifty six is two fifty six is equal to two into two into two. Into two into two into two, into two into two. You can observe this in the small table made here. Left side has prime factor, right side has number two two fifty six, two one twenty eight, two sixty four, two thirty two, two sixteen, two eight, two four blank two. By Pairing the prime factors, we get two fifty six is equal to two into two, into two into two, into two into two, into two into two, is equal to bracket open, two into two into two into two bracket close square. Therefore, square root of two fifty six is equal to two into two into two into two is equal to sixteen. Is forty eight a perfect square? We know forty-eight is equal to two into two into two into two into three. Since all the factors are not in pairs, so forty-eight is not a perfect square. Suppose we want to find the smallest multiple of forty-eight that is a perfect square. How should we proceed? Making pairs of the prime factors of forty-eight, we see that three is the only factor that does not have a pair. So we need to multiply by three to complete the pair. Hence, forty-eight into three is equal to one forty-four is a perfect square. 
Can you tell by which number should we divide 48 to get a perfect square? The factor 3 is not in pair. So if we divide 48 by 3, we get 48 divided by 3 is equal to 16 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. And this number 16 is a perfect square too. Example 4. Find the square root of 6400. Solution. Write 6400 is equal to 2 into 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 5 into 5. You can observe this in the small table made here. On the left side, we have the prime factors. On the right side, we have the numbers. 2, 6400, 2, 3200, 2, 1600, 2, 800, 2, 400, 2, 200, 2, 100, 2, 50, 5, 25, blank 5. Therefore, square root of 6400 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 5 is equal to 80. Example 5, is 90 a perfect square? Solution, we have 90 is equal to 2 into 3 into 3 into 5. You can observe this in the small table made here, which has prime factors in the left side. 2, 90, 3, 45, 3, 15, blank, 5. The prime factors 2 and 5 do not occur in pairs. Therefore, 90 is not a perfect square. That 90 is not a perfect square can also be seen from the fact that it has only one zero. Example 6. Is 23, 52 a perfect square? If not, find the smallest multiple of 23, 52 which is a perfect square. Find the square root of the new number. Solution. We have 23, 52 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 7 into 7. You can observe this in the small table here. On the left side, we have the prime factors. 2, 2352. 2, 1176. 2, 588. 2, 294. 3, 147. 7, 49. Blank, 7. As the prime factor 3 has no pair, 2352 is not a perfect square. If 3 gets a pair, then the number will become perfect square. So we multiply 2352 by 3 to get 2352 into 3, which is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 7 into 7. Now, each prime factor is in a pair. Therefore, 2352 into 3 is equal to 7056 is a perfect square. Thus, the required smallest multiple of 2352 is 7056, which is a perfect square. And square root of 7056 is equal to 2 into 2 into 3 into 7 is equal to 84. Example 7. Find the smallest number by which 9408 must be divided so that the quotient is a perfect square. Find the square root of the quotient. Page number 102. Solution. We have 9408 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 7 into 7. If we divide 9408 by the factor 3, then 9408 divided by 3 is equal to 3136 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 7 into 7, which is a perfect square. Why? Therefore, the required smallest number is 3 and square root of 3136 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 7 is equal to 56. Example 8. Find the smallest square number which is divisible by each of the numbers 6, 9 and 15. 
solution. This has to be done in two steps. First, find the smallest common multiple and then find the square number needed. The least number divisible by each one of 6, 9 and 15 is their LCM. The LCM of 6, 9 and 15 is 2 into 3 into 3 into 5 is equal to 90. You can learn this from the table here. On the left side, we have the prime factors. 2, 6, 9, 15. 3, 3, 9, 15. 3, 1, 3, 5. 5, 1, 1, 5. Blank, 1, 1, 5. We observe that prime factors 2 and 5 are not in pairs. Therefore, 90 is not a perfect square. In order to get a perfect square, each factor of 90 must be paired. So, we need to make pairs of 2 and 5. Therefore, 90 should be multiplied by 2 into 5, that is 10. Hence, the required square number is 90 into 10 is equal to 900. Exercise 6.3 1. What could be the possible one's digits of the square root of each of the following numbers. 1. 9801 2. 99856 3. 9 lakh 98001 4. 65 crore 76 lakh 66025 2. Without doing any calculation, find the numbers which are surely not perfect squares. 1. 153 2. 257 3. 408 4. 441 3. Find the square roots of 100 and 169 by the method of repeated subtraction. 4. Find the square roots of the following numbers by the prime factorization method. 1. 729 2. 400, 3, 1764, 4, 4096, 5, 7744, 6, 9604, 7, 5929, 8, 9216, 9, 529, 10, 8100. 5. For each of the following numbers, find the smallest whole number by which it should be multiplied so as to get a perfect square. Also find the square root of the square number so obtained. 1, 252, 2, 180, 3, 1008, 4, 2028, 5, 1458, 6, 768. 6. For each of the following numbers, find the smallest whole number by which it should be divided so as to get a perfect square. Also find the square root of the square number so obtained. 1, 252, 2, 2925, 3, 396, 4, 2645, 5, 2800, 6, 1620. 7. The students of class 8th of a school donated rupees 2401 in all for Prime Minister's National Relief Fund, each student donated as many rupees as the number of students in the class. Find the number of students in the class. Page number 103. 8. 2,225 plants are to be planted in a garden in such a way that each row contains as many plants as the number of rows. Find the number of rows and the number of plants in each row. 9. Find the smallest square number that is divisible by each of the numbers 4, 9 and 10. 10. Find the smallest square number that is divisible by each of the numbers 8, 15 and 20. 6.5.4. Finding square root by division method. When the numbers are large, even the method of finding square root by prime factorization becomes lengthy and difficult. To overcome this problem, we use long division method. For this, we need to determine the number of digits 
in the square root. Observe the following table. Here we have two columns. On the left side we have number, on the right side we have square. 10, 100, which is the smallest three digit perfect square. 31, 961, which is the greatest three digit perfect square. 32, 1024, which is the smallest four digit perfect square. 99, 9801, which is the greatest four digit perfect square. So, what can we say about the number of digits in the square root if a perfect square is a three digit or a four digit number? We can say that if a perfect square is a three digit or a four digit number, then its square root will have two digits. Can you tell the number of digits in the square root of a five digit or a six digit perfect square? The smallest three digit perfect square number is 100, which is the square of 10 and the greatest three digit perfect square number is 961, which is the square of 31. The smallest four digit square number is 1024, which is the square of 32. And the greatest four digit number is 9801, which is the square of 99. Think, discuss and write. Can we say that if a perfect square is of n digits, then its square root will have n by 2 digits if n is even or n plus 1 by 2 if n is odd? The use of the number of digits in square root of a number is useful in the following method. Consider the following steps to find the square root of 529. Can you estimate the number of digits in the square root of this number? Step 1. Place a bar over every pair of digits starting from the digit at one's place. If the number of digits in it is odd, then the leftmost single digit 2 will have a bar. Thus, we have 529 with separate bars over 5 and 29. Step 2. Find the largest number whose square is less than or equal to the number under the extreme left bar. 2 square is less than 5 and 5 is less than 3 square. Take this number as the divisor and the quotient with the number under the extreme left bar as the dividend. Here 5. Divide and get the remainder 1 in this case. You can observe that the same has been shown here. 529 minus 4 is 1, 2 is the divisor and 2 is the quotient. Page number 104. Step 3. Bring down the number under the next bar that is 29 in this case to the right of the remainder. So, the new dividend is 129. Step 4. Double the quotient and enter it with a blank on its right. You can observe here that the number 4 has been written with a blank on its right next to 129. Step 5. Guess a largest possible digit to fill the blank which will also become the new digit in the quotient such that when the new divisor is multiplied to the new quotient, the product is less than or equal to the dividend. In this case, 42 into 2 is equal to 84. As 43 into 3 is equal to 129, so we choose the new digit as 3. Get the remainder. Step 6. Since the remainder is 0 and no digits are left in the given number, therefore, square root of 529 is equal to 23. You can observe this in the division we have done on the left. 129 minus 129 is equal to 0. 23 is the quotient. Now, consider square root of 4096. Step 1. Place a bar over every pair of digits starting from the ones digit. There are two separate bars over 40 and 96. 
Step 2. Find the largest number whose square is less than or equal to the number under the leftmost bar. 6 square is less than 40 is less than 7 square. Take this number as the divisor and the number under the leftmost bar as the dividend. Divide and get the remainder that is 4 in this case. You can observe this in the division we have done here. 6 is the quotient, 6 is the divisor, 4096 minus 36 gives us the remainder 4. Step 3. Bring down the number under the next bar, that is 96, to the right of the remainder. The new dividend is 496. Step 4. Double the quotient and enter it with a blank on its right. You can observe that 12 has been written with a blank on its right. Step 5. Guess a largest possible digit to fill the blank which also becomes the new digit in the quotient such that when the new digit is multiplied to the new quotient, the product is less than or equal to the dividend. In this case, we observe that 124 into 4 is equal to 496. Step 6. Since the remainder is 0 and no bar left, therefore, square root of 4096 is equal to 64. You can observe here that 496 minus 496 gives the remainder 0 and the quotient is 64. Estimating the number. We use bars to find the number of digits in the square root of a perfect square number. Square root of 529 is equal to 23 and square root of 4096 is equal to 64. In both the numbers 529 and 4096, there are two bars and the number of digits in their square root is 2. Can you tell the number of digits in the square root of 14,400? By placing bars, we get 1 bar over 2 zeros, 1 bar over 44 and 1 bar over 1. Since there are 3 bars, the square root will be of 3 digit. Page number 105. Try these. Without calculating square roots, find the number of digits in the square root of the following numbers. 1. 25,600 2. 10 crore 3. 36,864 Example 9. Find the square root of 1. 729 2. 1296 Solution 1. We have 2 as divisor 729 as dividend with 1 bar over 7 and 1 bar over 29. 729 minus 4 gives 47 as the divisor and 329 as the dividend. 329 minus 329 is equal to 0. 27 is the quotient. Therefore, square root of 729 is equal to 27. 2. We have 1296 as dividend with 1 bar over 12 and 1 bar over 96, 3 as the divisor, 1296 minus 9. After that, we have 396 as the dividend and 66 as the divisor. 396 minus 396 gives us 0. 36 is the quotient. Therefore, square root of 1296 is equal to 36. Example 10. Find the least number that must be subtracted from 5607 so as to get a perfect square. Also find the square root of the perfect square. Solution Let us try to find square root of 5607 by long division method. We have the remainder 131. It shows that 74 square is less than 
5607 by 131. This means if we subtract the remainder from the number, we get a perfect square. Therefore, the required perfect square is 5607 minus 131 is equal to 5476 and square root of 5476 is equal to 74. We can observe this in the long division method. There are two bars, 1 over 56, 1 over 07 in 5607. 7 is the divisor. After subtracting 49, we get 707 as dividend and 145 as the divisor. 707 minus 576 gives us 131 as remainder and 74 as the quotient. Example 11. Find the greatest four-digit number which is a perfect square. Solution. Greatest number of four digits is equal to 9999. We find square root of 9999 by long division method. The remainder is 198. This shows 99 square is less than 9999 by 198. This means if we subtract the remainder from the number, we get a perfect square. Therefore, the required perfect square is 9999 minus 198 is equal to 9801 and square root of 9801 is equal to 99. We can observe the long division method 9999. There are two separate bars over each 99. 99 is the divisor. Minus 81 gives us 1899 as dividend, 189 as divisor. Minus 1701 gives us 198 as the remainder and 99 as the quotient. Example 12. Find the least number that must be added to 1300 so as to get a perfect square. Also find the square root of the perfect square. Solution. We find square root of 1300 by long division method. The remainder is 4. You can observe this here. In 1300, there is 1 bar over 13 and 1 bar over 2 zeros. 3 is the divisor. Minus 9 gives us 400 as dividend, 66 as the divisor. Minus 396 gives us 4 as the remainder and 36 as the quotient. This shows that 36 square is less than 1300. Next, perfect square number is 37 square is equal to 1369. Hence, the number to be added is 37 square minus 1300 is equal to 1369 minus 1300 is equal to 69.